The financial crisis has not broken some people's faith in the healing effect of financial markets. Policy makers are still trying to place our lives under the increasing influence of these markets, for example through the sale of public infrastructure to private investors, despite the well-known negative consequences. The European Commission plans to promote privatization with a program for the long-term financing of the European economy. That sounds like a reasonable goal, but the long-term nature of the plan primarily ensures long-term gains to investors. One suggestion is the establishment of special funds for investments in schools, hospitals, public housing, roads, power grids or water systems. These are meant to be open to many investors, as until now, such objects formed the business of a few speculative funds, if at all. Another proposal is the promotion of project bonds, for example, shares in public projects. Currently, some motorways in Belgium and Germany are already financed by such bonds. The basic financing principle here is a very delicate issue, as private investors would carry far fewer risks than the public sector. If losses are incurred, public capital will first have to be raised and only then will capital from the private sector be required. This trick enables the bonds to receive very high ratings from rating agencies because for private investors, such as insurance companies, this is virtually a risk-free business. In Germany, Minister of Economic Affairs Sigmar Gabriel has just passed a commission to verify how banks and insurance companies will be allowed access to such low-risk and simultaneously profitable business deals. This would represent a recovery program for insurance companies currently under financial strain due to the prevailing low interest rates. Taxpayers would thus save the insurance companies just as they did with the banks. We must prevent this together. Please sign the petition now.